when you're looking for a new car these days. Sticker prices can be shocking. But even though new car prices rise each year, it's still possible to nab a new model for less than $25,000. Affordability doesn't mean you have to sacrifice the features you want either. Many reasonably priced models boast roomy cabins, comfortable seats, and plenty of technology and safety features. All the cars we've chosen have prices that start under $25,000. Before we begin with the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I come back with another amazing video. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Honda Civic The Civic was completely redesigned for 2022, taking everything that worked so well for its revolutionary predecessor, ample interior space, sharp driving dynamics, efficient engines, and amplifying it with a more grown-up appearance, select new cabin, superior technology, and general refinement everywhere you look. The Civic is just a terrific car, and the great thing is, it's still a terrific car when priced under $25,000. The car pictured above is the Sport trim level, which starts at $24,095. It looks great and is nicely equipped. Now, the Sport hatchback is just a hair over $25,000, but it's close enough to tout the Civic as offering both a sedan and hatchback body styles. Both are also available in base LX trim levels. We may be doing this list alphabetically, but we'd probably start our search in this price range with the Civic anyway. Hyundai Elantra If you're looking to get a lot of bang for your buck, and when talking a price tag under $25,000 these days, you probably are. The Hyundai Elantra has always been a great choice. And it's not just a matter of its generous features list and warranty coverage. The Elantra's outlandish exterior styling and striking modern interior prove that you don't have to drive something bland and characterless just because you don't have a ton of money to spend. True, the Elantra isn't as characterful to drive as our previous selection or the next, but as a commuter car, it brings more driver connection than a Corolla or Sentra, for instance. There's also the Elantra N-Line, which brings a little more verve and is just a little bit over our price threshold here, but still packed with fun for your money value. Ultimately though, our powertrain choice is the Elantra Hybrid. It gets exceptional fuel economy in a package that's more stylish and refined than Hyundai's dedicated hybrid, the Ioniq, while being cheaper than a Prius or Honda Insight. Mazda 3 this is perhaps the best proof yet that you don't have to drive a car that screams economy car when paying less than $25,000. Even at this price point, the Mazda 3 interior could make a play at the entry-level luxury segment with its handsome minimalist design, high-quality switch gear, and convincing full leather that covers the seats, dash, and doors. Driving the Mazda 3 offers a similar high-end experience, and its responses to driver inputs through steering, throttle, and transmission are so exceptional that we once again must roll out the descriptor of budget Porsche when referring to driving a Mazda. It really is that good. We're also quite fond of the two body styles, the stylish sedan that boasts a surprisingly large trunk and the Mazda 3 hatchback that really turns up the style dial, albeit at the expense of rear visibility. This is a great car, regardless of price. Hyundai Kona the Kona continues to prove that a subcompact SUV can be fun to drive. It's certainly not the most spacious model, but its sharp handling, distinctive style, and attractive cabin with user-friendly tech help it stand out from the crowd. Because of the price point, we must leave out the surprisingly punchy 175 horsepower turbo engine upgrade and the agreeable Kona Electric, but the engine you're left with is surprisingly punchy and delivers better than average acceleration. The Konos at this price point and have consistently been surprised at how fun to drive it remains despite the lack of big power, and how compelling the interior is despite of a lack of leather or extra fancy doodads. Kia Seltos Like most choices on this list, the surprisingly good Seltos proves you don't have to spend a lot of money for both function and fashion. Its price and exterior dimensions fall in between subcompact and compact SUV segments, yet it boasts more interior volume than is expected and an abundance of special design details throughout that successfully counter some of the cheaper bits applied to keep the price down. We especially like the blue accented dash trim and wool looking grey cloth found on the Seltos S. Basically, it provides even more value beyond Kia's usual extra long features list and warranty. Note that at this price point, you'll be considering the base LX trim, which comes standard with all-wheel drive, or the similarly priced Saltos S that swaps in front-wheel drive in favor of extra comfort, convenience, and tech equipment. Adding all-wheel drive to the S just barely ticks you over the $25,000 threshold. 
Mazda CX-30. Like the Seltos, the CX-30 is a mid-compact SUV. It also similarly punches well above its weight class, in this case, in regards to its driving fun and luxury. Although upper trim levels make for a compelling alternative to BMWs and Audis, the base trim level in this bracket obviously can't make the same claim. Still, you get the same captivating modern interior design accented in blue full leather trim and constructed of high-quality materials. We especially like the sporty steering wheel and the buttons and knobs that solidly click like a luxury car. It's important to note that the CX-30 is mechanically related to the Mazda 3. Although you can get it with all-wheel drive at this price point, it's similar in size, quality and design to the Mazda 3 hatchback. So if you can't find a CX-30 you like for the price, there's a very strong alternative that also resides on this list. Nissan Kicks We wouldn't blame you for not getting excited about the Kicks. It doesn't have much horsepower, it's not exactly fun to drive, and its tall hatchback body is still pretty gawky despite an attractive styling update for 2022. That said, the Kicks do a really great job at the basics. It supplies a massive amount of space for a vehicle its size, comes with a wealth of safety features for a vehicle with its modest price, and doesn't feel like a penalty box to sit in or drive. The interior is handsome and well-equipped with impressive materials in upper trim levels. For those seeking an efficient, inexpensive urban runabout that can swallow enough stuff for a weekend getaway, it just makes a lot of sense. Oh, and unlike everything else on this list, you can get a fully loaded Kicks for less than $25,000. Ford Maverick There would not have been a truck available at this price point a year ago, but thanks to the new Ford Maverick, there is. Not only does it slide under our $25,000 price threshold, but you can get one that's not a bargain basement base model. The mid-level XLT, albeit without options, is well below $25,000 with the standard hybrid powertrain, while adding the turbo inline-4 and therefore all-wheel drive only goes over by about $500. And either way, you're getting an intriguing new entry in the automotive landscape, a pickup at a price that competes with the Honda Civic or Kia Seltos. Yes, it has crossover architecture and therefore can't lug that stump out of grandma's front yard or tow a small house. Its interior, although interesting to look at, also isn't as well equipped or as well made as most other vehicles on this list, specifically in terms of materials quality. Nevertheless, you're getting a pickup for less than $25,000 that isn't extremely used, or a stripped-down work truck with all the creature comforts of an ox cart. Really, the main problem with the Maverick is availability. It's already sold out. So while deserving of its place on this list, it's also a bit theoretical until ordering opens again this summer for the 2023 model.